Hi, I'm Matt with E-Trailer, and today we're talking about the Rhino Rack Vortex Aero roof rack system on top of our 2022 Chevrolet Express van. Now this can be a great option for you if you plan on using this for a lot of recreational uses, whether you got anything like kayaks, rooftop tents, or anything else like that. So let's check it out. Our system today is going to be comprised of two parts. The first part is going to be a 65 inch Aero Vortex bars up top. And below that, we're going to have our gutter mount towers. So taking a closer look at the crossbars, we're going to have this arrow shape to the design of it, and that's going to help reduce wind noise. Another thing that's going to help reduce the wind noise is going to be this weather strip at the very top of it. And this is something that you'll be able to cut down the size to accommodate other accessories up here. And at the very back of it, we're going to have this end cap. And you'll notice we have this locking mechanism right here just for that extra security. Now, if you don't like that this is made out of plastic, you can go onto our website and find a metal core, metal core option of this. And beneath it, we're going to have this other T-channel. And this one's going to be for mounting your tower to. And this tower is going to go down and connect to our gutter at the top. It's going to connect to it by this clamp and these four bolts. And we're going to have this rubber coating on both ends so it doesn't cause any scratching on your vehicle. As for how this is going to sit on top of your roof, the first measurement I'm going to get is going to be the overall height. And that's going to be a little bit over five and a half inches, which isn't too bad. But what I recommend doing is taking the total height of your vehicle, plus your crossbar, and if you have any accessories on top of that, so you know what areas you can make it under. The next measurement I want to get is going to be the distance underneath and that's going to be just under five inches. So that's going to give you plenty of room if you need to put any clamp on accessories on here. As for our overhang, if I go from our tower to the end of our crossbar, that's going to be a little bit over four inches. So that's going to give you enough room if you want to put on any smaller accessories at the very edge of here. You're going to have that option, but it's not going to stick out far enough where you're going to bump your head on it, especially with it being this high up. Now for what you're going to be able to put up here, you're going to be able to put those clamp-on accessories like I said earlier, and that T-channel that I pointed out, you'll be able to put those T-channel accessories on that too. You're going to be able to load this up to 165 pounds, but like always, I recommend just checking what your roof is rated for and then going from the lowest rated component. Now, talking about how much this can carry, if you wanna put another roof rack system up here so it makes more like a platform style system on the top of your roof, that actually won't raise your total capacity, but it will give you more room to play around with longer items. Overall, I think this will be a great system if you're using it for recreational uses. It's great if you wanna haul anything longer like a kayak, We've had neighbors in the past use it for awnings, so if they want to go camping, I think it'd be great if you want to put a rooftop tent at the top of it too. It'll work just fine for that. Now, if you want to use it for work purposes, I think it'll be pretty good for that. I just recommend investing in some load stops because if you have anything like lumber or ladders, they can slide around a bit. So just investing in that load stop can prevent it from sliding off. As for the installation, it is pretty straightforward, but if you want to see how we handled it, just stay tuned and we'll walk you through it. To start off the installation, we're just going to lay everything out. So up front, we're going to have our crossbar and the towers that go along with it. We're going to have the adapters and its hardware and the, weather uh, the rubber strips for your towers. You're going to have an included Allen key and this included safety key or security key. What I recommend grabbing is going to be a 10 millimeter socket and wrench, a tape measure, and a ladder to make this a lot easier. If you need your crossbars for the first time, they're probably not going to have the weather strip already on. To do that, all you have to do is line up this bottom part with these two flanges on it, push it into that channel, and just go all the way down the rest of your crossbar. Moving on to prepping our towers. A lot of times you'll notice when we have our hardware already on here, it might be tightened down all the way. If you can get that with your hand, you can just unthread it off. Now, if you can't, 
you'll need a 5 8 socket wrench to remove this. But when it's removed, you can put this off to the side. I recommend just keeping it handy just in case you get some other crossbars, the heavy duty ones. And now we're gonna grab this M6 bolt. We're gonna have this lock washer on the bottom. And next we're gonna have the square spacer. You're gonna run that from the bottom of your tower to the other side. And now we're gonna start putting on this large adapter. You wanna make sure that the side with the hole is facing that opening. It fits like that. You might have to push it in so it clicks into place or locks into place. And finally, to finish it off, we're gonna grab this last square nut, bolt it on loosely because we want a gap so we can put it on top of our crossbar. We're gonna grab this rubber cover next, flip this crossbar tower over. And you notice this area right here doesn't have anything covering it, so we wanna make sure we get this on top of that so we have some protection. We'll slide right into place. Now sometimes if you get this and it's all the way tightened, you might have to loosen this first. You just take that included Allen key and loosen all four of these bolts on the back. Then we're gonna grab the security key, come over to our crossbar to where that end cap is and remove it. Leave it over to the side. And I like to flip it over to make this a lot easier for myself. Next up, I'm gonna grab that tower line up that square block with this channel until it seats into it. I like to put my hand on the other side to help guide it through. And once it's on here, you can tighten this down just a little bit. We don't want to tighten it down all the way, just enough where it's going to apply some pressure so it's not sliding all over the place. You can do this with your hand. As you can see, I can still adjust it. And once this is complete, you can start this process on the other side. After when everything's secured on here, we're gonna put it on top of our roof. I also recommend putting on your end caps so you don't have to like reach up and put them back up here. I got a towel laid out too, so I don't scratch anything up. Now this can be a little bit difficult. That's why we get the ladder. And if you need a friend, I'd recommend grabbing one too but this is definitely something you can do on your own too. We're just gonna be lining it up with our gutter and we're just roughly placing it on top of our roof. Before we secure everything down, we wanna make sure everything's squared off. You also notice I already have my front crossbar on here. It's gonna be the same process for each one of them though. So when I'm squaring off my rear crossbar, a lot of times, I'll just measure from the front one to the back one on both sides to make sure everything's even. But if you're on your front one, what I recommend doing is just measuring from the front door jam, making sure it's even on both sides, or you can use the top of your windshield. So after when you've got that, I can show you what that measurement's gonna look like. Just from the front of one, to the front of the other one. And now I'm just gonna double check the other side. Next up, we wanna check our overhang. And so I'm just gonna be going from our tower to the end of our crossbar. Then I'm just gonna be double checking the other side. Now this is part of the reason why I said leave things loose. And a way you can adjust that is by just grabbing your tower and pulling or pushing on your crossbar. We can start securing everything down. Where I like to start is securing a tower to our crossbar. So we're gonna come underneath to that bolt we tightened earlier with that 10 millimeter socket and wrench and tighten it down the rest of the way. When both sides are tightened down, we're gonna grab that included Allen key, come over to these four bolts on the back and tighten these down until we just get a little bit of tension. We don't want to tighten it too much because it could cause some pulling from one side. So we want to make sure everything's even. So after when you get a little bit of tension out of these, you just go to the other side, repeat that process, then just go back and forth until this is all the way secured. And when everything's 
tightened up. You can give it a good shake test. Make sure it feels pretty solid. And if it does, you can load it up with whatever gear you got and hit the road. But that's just a look at the installation and some of the features of the Rhino Rack roof rack system on top of our 2022 Chevrolet Express van.